Have you ever heard of tonsil stones? Me neither. It's actually more common than people think. Though. It kind of looks a little bit like a tooth or a small white something in your throat. We do want to warn you, we will be showing you pictures of this. The Now's Ray Daniel has more on the cause of tonsil stones and what to look for. I was sitting there with my girls and I started to just kind of feel like I had a scratchy throat. It looks good. This mother of two thought she just had a sore throat or worse. Great, I have strep. I'm going to miss work. <laughs> But come to find out, it was a tonsil stone. Thursday night, I felt one, and I posted it on my mom's Facebook group. And within 10 minutes, I had hundreds of comments. They're actually more common than people think. What happens over time is in those little dips and crevices of the sponge, we get food, we get food caught or mucus caught. It gets kind of overrun by bacteria that naturally live in our throat and it becomes a hard little ball. Doctors say they're not harmful in any way. They usually come out when people cough or sneeze. Parents just get creeped out because they think that that's a pus pocket. They think their kid has strep throat because they see some white stuff that can be a mimicker of illness. But the good news is, is they're relatively harmless and perfectly safe. But they can smell. Very odorous. They're full of bacteria and it takes a while for them to uh, mineralize. A lot of online clinics say you can take them out yourself, but one doctor we spoke with doesn't recommend you do this. Don't try to pop it. Your tonsil also has a lot of vascularity. There's a lot of blood flow and it's an important tissue to have back there. And so if you are trying to dig around back there, you could make a mistake and maybe cause some injuries. So. For Angel, she says she's glad she now knows what they are. And I haven't had one since, so but I have been checking. <laughs> In Kansas City, Missouri, Ray Daniel for the Now KC. So on that mom's blog where she posted it, all these people are going to the mirror to like check to see if they had them and it's been see kind it? of interesting. Uh, nope, no, nope, no, you're I'm good, good. you're good. Right, uh, doctors recommend the best way to get rid of these tonsil stones is to brush regularly and also gargle mouthwash. Sometimes that can um, cause it to break loose.